Short and Sweet Stories A Good Idea for Mumo Blue The unicorn has dropped its baby horn. It had been two weeks since the little unicorn's baby horn had fallen out. And he was very worried because he was not growing a permanent horn. Every morning he brushed aside his mane, looked for his reflection in the crystalline waters of the river, and looked at his forehead. But nothing. None of his friends had ever had to wait so long. At most, after nine days, they all had a little bump. But for him, nothing. Not even a microscopic speck. You have to eat green leafy vegetables and lots of orange jelly, his mother told him. That was no problem, because the little unicorn loved green leafy vegetables and also orange jelly. So he ate spinach, Brussels sprouts, and lots and lots of lettuce. And he ate his fill of jello, but nothing. No sign of the permanent horn. You have to have a little patience, his father told him. But the little unicorn could not wait. Day after day, he watched as all his friends, little by little, grew their permanent horns. Shiny, each one of a different color and all of them beautiful. Because baby horns are completely white, but permanent horns can be many different colors. Blues, pinks, purples, yellows, even rainbows. The little unicorn imagined what color his horn would be, and that made him even more impatient. If it doesn't come out yet, it's because it doesn't have room to come out. Let it go at its own pace or it will come out crooked, his mother told him. If it takes so long, I'm sure it's because it will be wonderful. The idea that his horn would be wonderful made the little unicorn even more impatient. And so a whole month went by. At times, he was very afraid that he would never get a permanent horn. At other times, he wondered whether his horn would be ugly or beautiful and became very nervous. And in the meantime, he kept eating green leafy vegetables and orange jelly. Until one morning, looking at himself in the backwater of the river, the little unicorn noticed a bulge under his fringe. His permanent horn was already peeking out. When he went over to find out what color it was, he was very disappointed. His horn was white. It wasn't fair, just like his baby horn. All his unicorn friends had beautiful colored horns, except him. The little unicorn was very sad. He didn't want to go out to play. And when he went to school, he hid the tip of his new horn under his fringe. But one day, it had grown so long that it was impossible to hide. It stood out, imposing between his mane. When he was walking through the forest, the little unicorn noticed that everyone was staring at him, whispering and standing still as he passed. He was so embarrassed. He hated his horn. He wanted to cut it off and never see it again. Until his best friend, a unicorn with white hair and bright blue horn approached him. Oh, you have the most spectacular and wonderful horn I've ever seen. It's beautiful. The little unicorn did not understand anything. He trotted to the backwater of the river and was perplexed by what he saw in his reflection. A beautiful pearly horn was coming out of his forehead. It was white, yes. But when the sunlight reflected on it, it produced shimmers and shades of different colors. It was incredible. He had never seen anything like it. You see, son, his dad told him, the best things come at the right time and usually long overdue.
A good idea for Moomoo Blue, your coolest, personalized books brand 